Hello, I'm Ingrid Waltham, Deputy Mayor at the City of Fremantle. What you're about to see fills me with pride and confidence. It's the result of over seven years of strategic planning and hard work and forms the foundations of the most important renewal Fremantle has experienced in 30 years. There's a bright future ahead for our much loved and unconventional port city and I encourage you to be a part of it. For those of you who may not have noticed, Fremantle is currently undergoing its biggest facelift with $1.3 billion worth of public and private investment underway. Around half a billion dollars worth of projects are either under construction right now or recently completed. Since 2014, the level of inner city development and investment has grown with brand new residential and office buildings recently completed and numerous more either under construction or approved. In recent years, a key focus for Council has been to attract more people to live in, work in and visit Fremantle. We're on track to exceed our original target set in 2010 of having 1,500 additional dwellings completed by 2020. These new residential developments are offering a wide range of living options all around Freo. About 1,000 of these new dwellings are expected to be built in the city centre, offering residents unparalleled amenity and lifestyle, while at the same time helping create a more vibrant, active and safe inner city. The most important city centre redevelopment in a generation is underway in Fremantle. The heart of the city will be transformed into a vibrant community, retail and commercial hub. With construction by ProBuild underway, the King Square Fremantle Renewal is the result of a strategic public-private partnership with Serona Capital, which started many years ago. I can't stress enough the importance of this $270 million revamp of our civic precinct. The former Meyer store, Queensgate office building and car park, council offices and surrounding public spaces will all be redeveloped in a coordinated, integrated way. We can all look forward to a new city square with landscaped and grassed areas, public art and street furniture and a new children's play space. A state-of-the-art community learning hub, including a public library, visitor centre and facilities for seniors. New office space for more than 2,000 workers, high quality retail and dining offerings and a new council administration building with purpose-built community spaces and meeting rooms. Other outcomes from the King Square development include an $8.5 million injection in public art initiatives in Fremantle's urban landscape, an increase of more than $100 million or 30% on city centre retail turnover, more than 2,000 people working within King Square representing employment growth of 13% and $358 million pumped into the local economy. A number of opportunities to invest in Fremantle's future are rapidly becoming available and what you are about to see is just a range of the latest. Some of these are owned by Fremantle Council, others are privately owned. Some are available now and others will be on the market within the next few months. Gas and Coke site at 12 Cantonment Street is a privately owned car park at the main entry point to the central city right across the road from the Woolstall Shopping Centre. 12 Holdsworth Street is owned by Fremantle Council and is walking distance from King Square. 12 Josephson Street is a small car park owned by the city close to King Square and the centre of Fremantle. Fremantle is about to enter into a period of unparalleled development. We're confident that we can do this while maintaining what it is that makes our city unique. You can help us by spreading the good word. You can invest in Fremantle yourselves or convince others to do so. We've shown you today a range of opportunities from the small to the medium and the large. We're here to help, so please contact us if you'd like to be a part of Fremantle's bright future.